Whoa. Welcome to the downside. Hi. My name is Jamarcus Horezi. I'm here with my co-host who found out a new way to be late. If he meets the guest on the way here, yeah. I guess it justifies <laughs> he can be as late as he wants. I, he, he was lost and I found him. Uh, you were lost? I was lost. He was I'm wandering found. the streets of yeah. New York and I I came across him and uh well he called me but uh yeah mm. he didn't he was not couldn't find the place. Well, good. It is tricky because of the bridge. You think you're going onto the bridge, maybe. I see. Yes, yes, yes. But also, yeah. like, uh, whatever. Google Maps is absolute trash garbage. So yeah. it was like behind me. I'm like, no, it's not. That's, yeah. That says 152. Well, I'm glad you made it. I'm glad you made it. Yeah. Because uh, because you you had a thing happen. I did. Russell Russell had a thing happen to him. I did a scary thing. I okay. So um, for everyone to know, okay. So <laughs> yesterday was the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. I had to go and get. Um, Just so everyone know this episode's coming out a little bit late, but uh, yeah, yesterday was yesterday the Super Bowl. Yesterday in real life was the Super Bowl, and I had to go get some last minute things for Super Bowl party. So we're talking, you know, well, it's not important, but I, one thing is I had bags of ice. That's important. <laughs> I did not know this yeah. detail. So I, I have a full cart of food and ice, and I get back to my apartment building, uh, get in the elevator, and push my floor. And the door is being a little weird. The door is slowly kind of kind of closing in a slower than normal way. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, okay. And then it doesn't close all the way. There's like a, a little gap. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So I hit the door close button. <laughs> and it tries to do it. And it's like shaking a little bit like this. And just going back and forth a little bit. But it's not fully closing. And I'm like, okay. But I didn't want to like put my fingers in. Because I was like, what no. if it closes, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm like, what's happening? Finally, it closes all the way, but then it doesn't move. And I'm pushing buttons. I'm pushing every button. I push my floor first. It lights up, but it's not going anywhere. Ugh. And then I'm like hitting door open, door open. It won't open, it won't open. And then, and then I'm like kind of panicking a little bit. So I hit all the buttons, just seeing like maybe we can <laughs> like, maybe like there's some sort of program. We hit all the buttons. It'll do something. <laughs> Nothing. I'm like, okay, so there's about two minutes, two or three minutes of me just kind of like trying buttons and kind of looking at things and being like, and then thinking like, maybe just calm down, maybe just like stare at it. There's a sliver though. That, there's a sliver. No, it still finally, there. it closed oh, finally all the closed. way. Okay. And then it wouldn't open. <sighs> and then, uh, and then um, I, so I'm like, okay, let's just stand here for a full minute and maybe something will happen without doing anything. And that didn't, nothing happened. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I'll call, I gotta call someone. No reception. <gasps> no reception in the Were you elevator. like going around? Yes, yeah, no. yeah. All, trying to go up, trying to go down. No reception. So How then, low to the ground did you get? Did you go? Uh, like, oh, you know, I'll be honest, I didn't get that low. I just kind of like, <laughs> just I looked at it. But I was like figured, you know, yeah. so it's not going to be better lower. It's going to be no. better higher. Sure. Yeah. So um, you go to the window to the wall. Yeah. So I, um, so then I, I, okay, there's other buttons. There's a button that says like push to stop. That one scared me because I was like, what's it going to do? And then pull to release. Like, pull, like, you know, there's a red one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm going to do that one last because that one's scary. So there's alarm. So I start hitting the alarm button. It's a very loud bell that's going, like, you know, ring rings so you feel like the whole building can hear. Sure. You, uh, so, please do something for us. So, I, I mean, it really is just like a bell, like a fire bell, kind of like. And it's alarming and loud. <laughs> and so I was doing that. that I did it a couple times and I felt bad about it because I'm like, this is so loud. Like this isn't like, but I was like, someone this is will how hear you it. Die. You're, oh, yeah. oh, I don't will, want inconvenience. Someone will hear it. Someone will hear it. I do that a few times. No one's hearing it. So then I'm like, okay, there's a phone in here. There's an emergency phone. So I open full phone. Like, like oh, you got to open the panel. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, there's yeah. a phone that you should be able to dial 911. So I I push the emergency button. I hear it dialing perfectly. Uh huh. Ringing perfectly, <laughs> and then they answer and they're like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like. What? I'm like yelling my address. I'm not going to yell here, but I'm like yelling my address. And I'm like, I'm stuck in the elevator. And then I give the address. And they're like, ah, 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 ah. like so cutting in and you out. You can't hear a single. can't hear one full word. Wow. So I'm just screaming the address. I assume with those phones that they like, the moment you call, they well, know I was told, where it is. I was told, uh, yes. They, that's what I thought too. Uh-huh. I don't know. So then I think I hear sirens and like 10 minutes later. But it's they you, wait. You they, you think they're turning on the sirens for this? I don't know. There's a person trapped in an elevator. She's so trapped. um, so I'm like, kind of. It's been a while now. I've tried calling the thing. I don't have service. I tried ringing the bell. So then I'm like getting desperate. I fully um, I'm I'm ring. I'm playing with the levels. I'm playing with the how much I'm ringing the bell. 
I'm laying on the bell for long periods <laughs> and then screaming. And how, then now, give, give me a realistic, what, how are uh, you screaming? Okay. First time uh-huh. yeah, was, help! I'm trapped in an elevator! <laughs> like that. Uh-huh. Really it, supported. It got, really? That was yeah, good. It got, well, I didn't want to think people I'm panicking. I wanted people to think like I'm in control. It's not an emergency. I mean, it is an emergency. You don't want to be like, like you. They, they, you don't want. They hear you and they're like, I don't want to deal with this guy. Yeah, he sounds yeah, a little yeah. nuts. So, so I was like that at first. It got more frantic. This time, pull the mic a little further away okay. from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, but then, but then, then this is what happened. So then I was like, okay, the sustained things and the yelling, it's not doing anything. So then I'm like doing, like I'm doing like quick like alarms, like. So it's like kind of like playing any songs. With You're doing any boop, no, boop, just like boop, boop, so, then, so then I hear a baby crying. I hear a baby crying on the first floor. Great first floor. I'm like, okay, I've gotten someone's attention. The baby can hear my screams. You can hear the thing. baby screams. That I you can, can hear yours very clearly. I mean, the elevator is not far from the, that first floor apartment. Yeah. with the baby. So I hear the baby crying. I'm I'm hitting the alarms more and I'm screaming louder to be like I'm in the elevator. And then um, the baby stops crying, and I'm like. So I ring the bell again and do the thing. Baby starts crying again. And then I know, I'm like, there's someone in that building, in that apartment with a baby, calming the baby down and, and not helping me. And just to add to the story, the ice is melting. So at this point, you're about to drown. Yes. I mean, this yeah, is yeah, getting yeah. up. So, so then I'm like, I'm getting mad at the person in the first floor because I feel like they're ignoring me and they're tending to their baby and they're ignoring my screams. Mm-hmm. So then mm-hmm. I start saying... I know you're in your apartment on the first floor. I can hear your baby screaming. I am trapped in an elevator. Help me. Help. I know I hear your baby. I just kept saying, I hear your baby. And I'm, and, and. Wow, you and, really, you shamed him. Well, if they're ignoring someone screaming, sure, they, they sure. gotta call someone. Something's gotta happen. Anyways, I don't know if they heard ever. They're also, they don't, they're, it's an Airbnb. So I feel less like, uh, I don't. They don't need to like me. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. they're they, oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. rent it one month at a time. And so, how long have you been at this point? Do you have your phone so you can know? Uh, Ten minutes like in. 20, 20, 25 minutes. So oh, that is scary, dude. So at least then, the first floor. about twenty twenty five minutes in, then I, my landlord finally, I hear him from somewhere. He's like, "Hello," and I was like. Oh, and I like, thank Michael, thank you, thank you so much. Um, uh, I'm trapped in here, and he said, L- <laughs> "Let me, let me get on it." And then, then I, then I hear sirens, but then again, they're not coming here. So, so he comes back five minutes later. He goes, all right, stay with me. I'm going to do something. <laughs> all the lights go out in the, in the, in the, in the elevator. <laughs> pitch black, pitch black. And a sound starts like a, a like Wait, a, like I, a I got it. I'll, I'll sound. play it. Cause we're, we're, if you go watch the video of this, because I, you really got to see how bleak it was. So this is uh this is what Russell sent me from his experience. <laughs> so at that point I'm in Russell. the pitch dark with that buzzing for about 10 minutes <laughs> and that's when I was like my breathing was like oh you're you're going to die here. You're you're it's scary, you know. Yeah. And then all of a sudden that stopped. <laughs> I just let me like were, don't worry, let me try something. There was nothing. And then um and then the power came back on, nothing for like five minutes, and then all of a sudden, it went down. The elevator went down to the basement, but it was really scary. And I didn't know what to do. I, I, the when elevator, it moved, did you go, huh? No, it, was, it moved slowly, like okay. more slowly than normal. It went down to the basement. It went like a foot lower than the basement. And it opened its doors. Mm. So it opened its doors, mm. and I was like, there's a foot, and I had this huge cart, and I was like, I had just seen enough. You know, there's that one movie when that woman gets cut in half. The Resident the Evil, yeah. yeah. And I was like, that's what I was envisioning, me doing and getting cut in half. So I was like, I'm not getting out with like this. So I hit, I, I was like, let's just try our luck. And I um, went back up to the first floor, went to the first floor. It opened up. I stepped out <laughs> onto the first floor. But then I was like, my cart and stuff is still there. But it was like in the back corner. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do? What if I get back on and get trapped again? I got back on and it went up to the sixth. You got back on? You got back on? I'm going to carry that cart up six floors. (laughs) Yeah. Six bags of ice. You got back on? And it worked fine. Wow. You took the elevator the same day. I know. I was terrified. Anyways, I texted my family before. I said, I love you. I called my landlord, thanked him. Thank God for him. Michael. Shout out to Michael. He's gay. Work. I'm single. I have a gay super. 
Honestly, no, I don't think so. It's revolutionary. <laughs> Unbelievable. The progress. You thanked him. Yeah. He should be thanking you. You should sue the... I mean, the ice was, must have been melted. Building. He just runs it, you know. Is that why the ice on the drinks was so light last night? Yeah. It was warm drinks. Yeah. Oh. Oh, were they warm? I'm just joking. Oh. Jesus I was, Christ. I was offended. Uh, uh, yeah, I was. I'm not going to publicly complain. <laughs> um, uh, well, I'm glad you're alive. That's very scary. It was very. You've been scary. stuck in an elevator before? No, actually. It no, happens. I got stuck recently for ten seconds, and I said to myself, "Be calm." And then within three seconds, I was like, <sighs> I'm, f- "I'm freaking out." I think um, I would die. One time, I was um, I wasn't stuck, but when I was on tour, um, uh, we were at a hotel where you could see the elevator, like the glass, and um, the power went out in the hotel, and two of our cast members got stuck, and they were stuck for a couple hours in um, in the glass, but they could see out. So like we could see them in the lobby and be like, ha! <laughs> they were like trapped. A couple hours. Yeah. That's that's terrible. a yeah. That's a piss. That's a, you got to take a piss. Yeah. A couple hours. Well, I thought about that. I that's did think true. about that. I thought what happens, and I was like, well, there's enough melting ice that if I have to pee, I'll just, just pour all the ice on the floor, it'll and it it'll melt. Yeah. So it, like at least. Well, like a urinal, you you just make no, your own least... personal <laughs> urinal. <laughs> But I and I was like, well, I have food. I That's had true. Food. You have a whole. I had food. Oh, I had ice. You I could, could have been there for days. I could like suck on the ice chips. Like, I just can't believe you didn't have the phone. Like in movies these days, you know how they, as a plot device, they have to knock out the phone to to keep like a problem there because yeah. otherwise you just call and you get saved. Yeah. And this literally was like, we sh- you should film a movie there. Easy, easy, easy. One location shoot. In the, in the elevator? Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the musical with the elevator where someone gets stuck? Quick. Three. Is it? What two, is it called? One. Oh, it's called. You're the writer. Oh. Sweet Charity is the musical oh, that's right. with the big Wait, elevator really? scene. Yes, oh, I thought right. we were making an up. Yeah, I thought you were making it up for a second. I was like, I Wait, thought we were you like, thought I was challenging him to like a yeah, write to like a musical? Like write yeah, musical I, and like, I was like, well, it, here we go. The elevator name musical. It. Write it now. Uh, sure. I watched it because recently it was a video of Timothy Chalamet in college. Doing it? Doing that scene. Wild. Wait, what is that very show good. about? Sweet Charity. I mean, it's it's just about a gal. It's a gal. Just about a lady of the night trying to is find she a love. Sp- prostitute? I think so. Big spender? Big spender, yeah. I think what are they spending it or on? Or she's like, it's implied. It's like, yeah. A, yeah, I yeah think it, there's no like sucking off song. Yeah. <laughs> the big I want number is I want it. <laughs> uh, well, we're here. Listen, sometimes people go a little too much theater. Then skip this episode. Yeah, yeah. We're because going, we're, we're going here we're gonna go. with our guest, it's deep in Constantine there. Rusuli. Yes, you got it. Greek, Greek baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how Greek? Like, do you have, like so fucking Greek? What about you? Like something that you do that someone's like, oh, that's a that's a Greek. That's Greek. Um, we would always probably still do uh, cook a actual lamb outside of our house on the spit in the backyard. And a spit means, is this a big rod? It's like a big rod where the, the lamb goes, and it just like goes around for hours. And it's the like a f- the, full, the full, full fucking lamb. Is yeah, the head welcome, gone? To, welcome to Easter. Oh, no, the head's there. Oh! Yeah, it's wild. This I would come the- home with the head like, laying off the counter, and I was oh. like, Mom, that's crazy. <laughs> this is the downside. One, two, three. Downside. You're listening to The Downside. The Downside. With John Marco Cerezi. All right, well, that's the end. Awesome, that was really fun. Thank Yay. you. Thanks for having me. Bye. Welcome so to the glad down- to have you here. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. Wow. Um, well, we can finally fucking say it. We could have said it earlier. I'm gay. But- <laughs> <laughs> that was Russell. That's his new voice. Um, Russell is returning dun, dun, dun. to Titanic. And I think this is coming out on the 27th, so you're going up tomorrow. Tomorrow night, baby. Oh, yeah, you're going on tomorrow, babe. Errol Roth, come see her. Do not fuck it up. Uh, now, do you think you're going to be better or like... No. <laughs> it's going to be so much better. It's, it's going to be rusty. It's going to be... Crunchy, crunchy crispy, crabby, crabby woman. <laughs> Well, as you can see, Russell and our guest have a relationship, so <laughs> we, uh, we're in love. Uh, this is The Downside. This is a place, if you're listening for the first time, this is a place where we complain, we get negative, we don't have to pretend to be positive. Constantine, I was doing research, I listened to you, you were on a podcast episode, and I'm not going to disparage the podcast, but you were talking about affirmations. And oh, I was like in it to win And all I'm these sure. things, and I was like, okay, this is the opposite of that. 
Yeah. This is what's the opposite of affirmations? Uh, defamation. Defamation. Yeah, defamation of character. Self defamation of character. Self defecation. Defecation. Yeah. Defecation. For for uh, if you're a fan of the show, join the Patreon. patreoncom slash downside. We got live episodes coming up. We got our Patreon exclusives. One a month. One live episode a month. We're doing one with Megan Gailey in Los Angeles. Hey baby. And uh, I think we'll probably announce by then we're going to be part of a big festival in May. In May. In. LA. LA again. So check it out. LA, We're come going. See us. Uh, Russell, people come up all the time on the road and they're, they're fans of you. Well, they better. And I tell them that lie. I'll get Russell to Sacramento someday. No, I won't. No, we won't. But Los Angeles, but LA. that's close enough for you guys. <laughs> and, and Russell and Constantine know each other because Constantine, aside from being the star of Titanic, he was also one of the creators. Yeah. That's right. Of Titanic. Fuck Marla Mandel. Yes. Fuck Marla. Well, she yeah. did the show before you. Yeah, I so. heard. Yeah. Sloppy seconds over here. <laughs> Thanks for having me first. So, uh, very exciting to have Russell back in it. Yeah. Beyond. I, uh, but you're not. No. Are, are you ever? Probably. But I saw just... you. You were great. Thank you. Did you see it where? At the first place or the I second place? I saw it twice. Because oh. I'm a good friend. Because you're the bestest yeah. of friends. Do what's, what's, you have rules with your good friends? Like, how many times, if they're in a show, are you going to see them? Oh, I, I would see them once. But then, mm -hmm. I, they don't have to see Yeah, come. When you transferred from off-Broadway, I mean, from... Uh, uh, was it Asylum, Asylum. to Off yeah. Broadway? Were you like, it's a new show? Well, yeah. I mean, for that is a compl it's a completely different show when you think about it. So I was like, yeah. you better fucking come back, or else yeah. your ass is grass. Yeah. So uh, you guys have worked together. Uh, uh, Russell did the show. Uh, well, I filled in a few times at Asylum, and then we did did the show November like, to June together. Yeah. Of last year. Wow. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. That's Wow. Yeah, you left early June. We left beginning of June. Yeah. yeah. You had paid, paid just telling me, so the episode that's coming out before this, it was an old episode I recorded with two comedians, like as a fill-in episode for mm -hmm. when we couldn't do it. And apparently at the beginning, I go like, we can break the news, guys. Russell will be understudying Josh Gad's <laughs> role in Gutenberg the <laughs> music. It's so outdated. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> just put uh, it out there. Yeah. So, Constantine, you grew up in New Jersey. Yes. Where in New Jersey? Englewood Cliffs, right over the bridge. Fun? Yeah. I mean, it was great. I was in the city all the time. So I would sneak out, take the A train, and just like live my little gay life in the West Village. Getting uh, piercings, going to see shows. Piercings. Oh, yeah. Piercings. Yeah, like my cartilage because I'm gay as hell. And I was uh -huh. like, I have to get this done when I was 15. And, and, and were you a Broadway boy? Like, were you seeing Broadway shows way back? Always, since I was a kid. Any, any really special ones? Really special ones. What was one that was... Who did I see? Uh, I mean, there were so many. Wow, question. <laughs> Great question. What I think my first show was Phantom of the Opera. So I don't remember who was in it. And it was uh, good. You were at the age where you were like, whoa, oh, shit, I was like, leader. holy shit. Actually, you know, when I was like, holy shit, um, I was, I think, two, 11, uh, 9 or nah, maybe 10. Uh, I saw Aida, the mm. original cast with um, Heather Adam Headley, Pascal. Adam Pascal. That's who we, and we both Sherry said Renee who we gravitated Scott. to. Yes. And then I truly lost my mind i blew up into a bundle of gay rainbows and i was like i have to do this show <laughs> didn't you do a competition like a, a oh yeah for yeah tell us that when i was like when i was in yeah. high school i um made my mother drive me i think somewhere upstate to audition for wicked day it was like a wicked singing competition like the musical uh -huh. where you'd have to go sing a song from the sh from the show and then if you get p chosen you would have to compete day of at the gershwin theater with like 12 people and then like the person who wins got maybe i don't know a ticket to the show <laughs> and a uh, backstage <laughs> like tour yeah. but it, the, did the song have to be from wicked has to be from wicked oh my god so just a bunch of guys singing dancing through life we all sang dancing dancing through life oh my god my jersey accent was so hard back in the day that i remember being on stage i was i think 14 15 i was but also listen to the, who the judges were it was the shoshana bean lol <laughs> um megan hilty lol also rihanna <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it was, was she had Rihanna. To do that day? That's a really. That it was like, like a right, small game. It was right before she like. Like right before she blew up. Blew up. It was oh like my 2003, God. four. Early wicked. Days. Early wicked days, and I was like, I'm gonna be in the show, and I was wearing. I will never forget this. Like diesel acid wash jeans with a white belt. Don't even. 
And then my crazy accent where I, I sang Dancing Through Life with no accompaniment because it was too high at the time because my balls had just dropped. And I was like, dancing through life, down at the oars of dust, if only because dust is what we come to. And then people were like, what? And Rihanna's like, I got to succeed so I never <laughs> yeah. have to do this again. Yeah. And then I stopped uh, in the middle of the song. I was like, let's go down to the oz dust. Done. Why? Why? <laughs> because I was like, I'm done. I'm good. And Oz dust? Yeah, I think it was like one of those. It was wild. Wow. And, and I mean, in my head, I was like, oh, I'm totally going to win. you were gonna win. wicked, though. Then I was. Wait, for, oh, but hold up. For, yeah. Before the success, yeah. what What did... Uh, it so, so, okay, so there's... Did other people have accompaniment? Oh, yeah. People and, were, like, sang to karaoke tracks. I was like, I'm actually going to sing a cappella. <laughs> And there's also just a song with like some, oh, that needs music behind it. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a terrible song. So what did they say? They were just like, woo, ha, awesome. <laughs> was there any feedback? No feedback. No. They were just like, that was great. They're like, look at this guy. So no one was going hard. No one was going, People oh. were going hard. But it no, was no, like. No, no, but really, the judge is going, mm, you don't have it, honey. No, it wasn't like American Idol. Wild. Yeah. It was, they were, everyone was just like, that was so sweet. You have a great tone. Awesome. You have gr such great ring. I gotta, ring. I gotta say now, imagine, like, so I'm sure Shoshana B and Megan Hilty were in the show. Oh, yeah. They're at the, in so the that's show. just, like, something they had to do on a day off. Yeah. Pissed. And imagine, can you imagine being asked to go and listen to people sing all day long on your day off from yeah. doing Wicked? the same show. Oh, my God. Death. Can you imagine 50 See, people just singing one song from Gutenberg? Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> But also Rihanna was there, guys. Can we go yeah, back to that? Like, that's I'm true. that was that's crazy. So weird. Okay, no, okay so crazy? Gutenberg, Gutenberg, they do it for Gutenberg, and uh, it's Ice Spice. She's Ice on the Spice panel. Is Josh Cat and Andrew. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, little orphan Annie. She's got to go. <laughs> Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Sorry, not a fan. Do you I think don't you were know good? What she does? Do you think you were like? T I understand you had this accent and. Oh, and did I think I was good? I thought I was fucking incredible. But looking back, were you a talented? Like, do you think if we saw, we go like, no, he's, he's very talented. For uh, F at 15, I mean, I guess I was like on 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 my way up, but like, yeah, I mean, I guess at I always had I always had something, I guess, because yeah. I started working out at 17. I got hairspray out of high school. When you sang it, do you think did you did you uh, straighten it up or was it? Oh, it sounded I, like you were singing Two Fiero. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> I butched it up so hard because yeah? I'm like, let's go. I was looking at all the girls. I was like, let's go down to the Azaz ballroom, and I was like winking and and throwing. This is it frustrating? Really upsetting. Very it? upsetting. I was so frustrated. I would watch. I watched. The, there, there's a video, and I was there's like, "There's a video." Oh, of there's it. a video. I'll find it. Oh my god! Please find it. We'll put uh, it. In, we'll put gonna, it in here. It's it's wild. It's truly unbelievable. Is it frustrating that so many roles that you play, uh -huh. you have to butch it up or play straight? Oh, yeah. Like like it, I just can't imagine what my life would be. If every musical I played, if everyone, if or ninety five percent of them, it was a romantic to another man, it just would be like, it just would, you know, be an acting challenge, I guess, a character. Yeah. But like to have to do it constantly, is it ever? Do you ever go like, can someone just do an all male production of Wicked, or where the wit, the you know, something? I mean, we grew up we're like in this business. It was a different generation back then. So like I. Butching it up was like I remember the agents being like, "Okay, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna you're gonna act you're gonna have to be the straight man." And I was like, "Okay, that's fine." I mean, I, I'm playing a character. I I, I get was it. it easy? Do you, was or was oh, it? Like, yeah. like, was it like uh, the birdcage? Did you have to learn how to walk? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm wearing heels for the first time. <laughs> oh my god, what do I do? No, it was. I mean, no, it was easy. It was fine. I it was annoying because I was so scared to show my true self. So I was like, "Oh fuck, I can't have them find out." Yeah, I'm never gonna. No, I'm never gonna work. Um, I also say this because I've been asked to push it up, and it's a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, truly. Yeah. 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 Well. It's annoying. I mean, it depends. But, like, yeah, they don't do that shit anymore. Mm -hmm. I think you just know what role you're going in for. But I'm not going to. Have you ever seen a production where it's very clear the leading man is gay, and he's doing a romantic song with a oh, alpha yeah. And it's like, you don't want you don't like you, you don't want that. Babe. I remember seeing um, baby girl, baby bride. You don't want that. I remember seeing the when it comes out the most, I feel like, is when there's, like, gangs. Or like in like <laughs> oh like West Side like Story West Side Story or Spring Awakening oh yeah I remember I've seen a couple of the productions where you're like they're like I'm gonna fucking you know like and it's like <laughs> yeah uh, like it that's where you feel like it it feels noticeable sure like when there's an element of violence sometimes <laughs> I mean they're all pretty gay I mean even the straight ones are so fucking gay I'm yeah probably, I'm like yeah. guys get it I'm like you butch it up yeah meanwhile has like two kids <laughs> hey Russell butch it up babe <laughs> it's hard.
Sorry. It's hard. It's difficult. So in your in your school, were you were you the king of the theater program? Uh, yeah. I, I yes and no. I went to an all boys Catholic high school, which oh was my God. I know. Pause for laughs. LOL. Um, it was uniform? a sports uniform sports school. Uh, I played sports growing up, so I was a baseball player. And then sophomore year, I was like, "Fuck this! I'm gonna be in the choir and I'm gonna sing and do plays." And I quit every sport. And I was like, great, I'm going to be in this musical, which was the Will Rogers Follies. In and then, high school. In high school. That's a, that's a very Catholic, safe. Yeah, but I, it was all the girls' school, so I would have to go to all the girls' schools and audition. So we, there was no, it was only boys, strictly boys. Um, and I was I basically, uh, yeah, I mean, from, from my, my school, I was the, the one to watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. She was the one to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many other boys were doing the musicals from your school? No one. Oh, but they, really? But see, all the other boys from the like area, uh-huh. like, like Don Bosco and whatever these yeah. other like our rivals, they could also audition for the girls' school. So like they had a bunch of Got it. like gay theater people at their school. Yeah, <laughs> I was the only one being like, "Yo, yeah, what's up?" And I also auditioned with uh, a moment like this, Kelly Clarkson, because she had just won American Idol, and I stayed up all night memorizing the song. And I walked in, of course, because I love acapella. I walked in, I was like, I'm going to sing a moment like this. Kelly Clarkson from American Idol. And they're like, what? At Will Rogers Follies? I was like, yeah. <laughs> when you got to do that and show. I <laughs> and I booked it. I booked it, just letting you know. <laughs> As that was well. your first show. As Will, Will Rogers, Rogers Follies. Yeah. What, and so you got to see, did you essentially get to see at all the other Catholic schools, you're like, oh, there's another gay guy. There's another gay guy. We all met. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't gay then. So like, I was just sure. like, I was like, fuck these guys. I was like, they suck. <laughs> you, you were just like, fuck these guys. Yeah, I was like, fuck these guys. They're, yeah. I was like, gross. Get out of here. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hug, I'm gonna finger bang all these girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To the Will Rogers Folly oh, soundtrack. Will Rogers yeah, backstage. <laughs> um. That's nice. It's just it's like uh, that's in a nice. way in a way that they that they set up theater. I don't know. I can't imagine going to a Catholic school. Was it was it, was it absolute out. garbage? Nuns, uh, priests, no nuns. Actually, yeah, there was one nun. Um, yeah, it was just the worst. It was absolutely the worst. I I don't I have no friends from high school in that actual boys school. I can't even tell you not one person I went to school with. The only person I know is my course teacher, who is like my mentor, who I love, and he's gay. <laughs> And yeah. was all like so we they had chorus though at the all boys school. So you Yeah, there was there was all like all boys choir. Yeah, all boys yeah, it was like but it was like for losers. And I was yeah. like, Great, I'm the loser who's in this, but I was like, at least I'm doing something. Yeah. Um and the choir teacher became your a num- like, one of my best friends still. Yeah. My mentor, yeah. Was he I, I had a, a voice person at our school and he was very young. Like looking back, I'm like yeah. he was twenty five? Yeah. That he is a young was he was he young too? Like did you like like, or was he like an older mentor, or was he, he was like older an older mentor? He's I, I don't know how old he is now, but uh, I would say he was maybe probably in his thirties. Like, does he come? Thirties. He see Titanic. Oh, we've seen it a million times. That's so sweet. It's the best. I love him so much. So, how did you navigate Catholic school? Like, were you getting in trouble? Were you? Oh drinking? no, I I was so good. I, we would. I mean, I would like secretly do like sneak out of the house and like you know we'd go to parties and stuff. But no, I was pretty like straight laced. I didn't do anything. Because I didn't have any friends. Yeah. <laughs> really? I didn't have any like guy friends in, in school. So I was hanging out with all the girls. And then the guys would be like, yo, I heard you're hanging out with Stephanie. And I was like, yeah. They're like, yo, can you yo, invite me, man? And were you trying to help him? Or you yeah, like, and I'd be like, okay. I was like, this guy wants to come. Like, but only after I finger bang her first. Yeah, I was like, I got to finger bang. Yeah. I got first dibs. <laughs> I got first puss. dibs on that guy. Oh, finger banging. Finger banging back in the day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wild. Um, so then you dropped out of high school. I finished. No, no, I finished. finished. I finished. I graduated. And then two weeks later, I, I, uh, I joined the Hairspray National Tour. That's crazy. Yeah, it was wild. So you must have been auditioning when you were ending. Yeah, I was auditioning because I grew up so close to the city. I was like 20 minutes away from Manhattan. Yeah. And, uh, I remember going to this, uh, open call for Hairspray and you're not equity. I was non-equity at the time. So you're waiting. So I'm just like putting your name. Yeah, in. I put my name at like six o'clock in the morning. I was like, help I for, hope for people listening, like describe. Oh, a non-equity how, call. How low on the the ladder you are in a non-equity call? Oh, the lowest of lows, like like yeah. scum of the earth. You are good luck. You you will probably never even get into the room. Yeah, you get to sing half a bar. You get to sing like eight bars. Eight yeah. bars, yeah. which is very 
Very little. It's like this. Dancing through life, down at the... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly that. So you're like, cool. Um, yeah, so I, I auditioned. I, I put my name in, and I was like, well, I'm going to see what happens because I love... I was obsessed with that show. And um, then I finally got a chance to sing. I sang whatever Link Larkin sings. He's like the, you know, the little gay male lead. <laughs> yeah. Um, Is he gay? No, he's not gay. But uh, he get, Who gets was, with Tracy? He gets with Tracy. He gets with Tracy. But yeah. it was, uh, if you guys saw the movie, it was Zac Efron. So it was that, that oh, part. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Just like the teen, like teen dream, yeah. you yeah. know, monster. Um, sang his song, and they're like, oh, cool. They're like, uh, can you stay and dance? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stayed and danced. And they're like, okay, cool. Can you come back and sing again? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, great. Here are these sides. I was like, cool. They're like, come back tomorrow. I was like, okay. So I kept on, like, wow. it was just like a whole, like, three days of nonstop. Were you going to go to college or did, were you? Yeah. And are you, you're missing school these days. You're just. Oh, I mean, I was like, I, I went and then I would like go to school late because yeah. of, I mean, it was like junior year. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah I mean, yeah. senior year. So yeah. I was like pretty much done. I think I had to go to school maybe for like two classes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I auditioned and then I remember my final callback was the same day as my final, as my calculus final. LOL. Me doing calculus. Can't even count my fucking hands. Um, so I told, so I told my, my mentor, I was like, Hey, you have to help me here. I was like, I have a final callback for hairspray. He was like, what? He's like, why didn't you tell me? I was like, I don't know. Wait, I love this very understanding teacher. Oh, the best. Hairspray? Oh, he was my, my number. He was like, okay, this is what we're going to do. He's like, you're going to drive to school. He's like, he got, cause my parents didn't know. I your didn't parents, tell. You didn't tell your parents you were doing no. this? No. Oh, that's so crazy. Because you, why? Because they'd be upset. Because they were like, you're not going to not also, go to college. If you were sure. 17, though. 17. Do you, you didn't, there was no rule of like, like, to, don't you have to be 18 to like even like do this? Like, yeah. were they checking, they weren't checking IDs or anything like that? No, they weren't checking IDs. Uh, I, I think I, I looked older anyway. So they were just like, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. You're of age. Non equity. Who cares? Yeah. They check IDs yeah, to be like, like, you're too fucking old to <laughs> be. Yeah, they're like, non equity. Who cares? Non <laughs> so I went to school. He was like, you're going to drive, you're going to drive your car. He's like, I'm going to check you in, um, and then we're going to say you're going to get sick, and then you're going to go home. He's like, but really, you're going to leave the car, and you're going to take the bus into the city. He's like, and then you can come back and pick up your car at school. This is oh. so much for a non-equity role Isn't in it? a hairspray tour. So, Wait, no, I mean, but it's a it, very it cool was, teacher. No, but it was an equity. It was like oh, it was an equity. First, it must have been one of the How first you, tours. But, but I say like, this, teacher sounds cool. Right, the best ever. Yeah, yeah. like so, I just see a lot of teachers going, "No, well then you well, missed no, it." The well, he's teacher. he was my best oh, friend. It was this, a, yeah, the music, the music was the no. same as. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, no, he's saying a different. I, I just went to school, and oh, I before the before I the cal- before the final even began, oh I said, "Hey, God. I, I ha- I'm sick." He was like, "Great, you're gonna go home right now." That's incredible. Yeah. Um, and he goes, "And I'll tell them that you're gonna just make up the the exam." And I was like, "Cool." That's a brilliant. So you brilliant. go. You so I go. I audition my tits off. I was like, I fucking. I was like, I booked this. Yeah. Didn't hear for like, I don't know, maybe a week, week and a half, two weeks. Oh, and I was like, so I was like, too long. I was like, it's too long. Yeah. It's out, done, never gonna happen. And then I'm driving back. I think it was like, I don't know, we had uh, graduation practice. Yeah. And I get a phone call and they're just like, hey, this is hairspray. Um, we wanna offer you the role of Link Larkin. You know, you start rehearsals in two weeks. I was like, what? Uh, crying. You were crying? Of course. Oh, yeah, I was a little mess. I was of crying. Course. Wait. Well, this is 2000 what? This was 2005. 2006. Okay, so you have a cell phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, I was trying to imagine like, too, like, not telling your parents. I think I had a, like a Razor or like yeah, a Nokia yeah, yeah. or one of those. Yeah. Wow. And Wild. tell me about telling your parents that you're not going to go to college. Yeah, I said, hey, guys, um, so remember when I was going to go to school for uh, musical theater? Where were you going to go? Um, I got into Syracuse. So it was between Syracuse and Montclair State University because oh. I was like, I think I'm going to go to Montclair so I can be close to the city yeah. and audition. Yeah. So I ended up going to Montclair. What I didn't go. Yeah. So I told my parents, I was like, cool. So remember that time that I auditioned for Hairspray Behind Your Back and you guys had no idea? And they're like, what? I was like, well, I booked it. <laughs> and my father was like, Jesus Christ, Khan. Jesus Christ, what are you going to do? Not go to school? I was like, yeah, I'm not going. And he was like, all right. He was like, you're the lead in the show. I can't say no. Yeah. To be fair, majoring in musical theater is also not going to school. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely. Yeah. So you really set him <laughs> up well for that. <laughs> Garbage. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do with that? It's so. 
Thank God I didn't go to school and I don't have fucking debt. I feel Thank I, God. I feel great about Can this. Can you imagine if Did you, you imagine I went to that down Link Larkin the National Tour to go to any school? Like yeah, any, any school like and any school. do musical theater. Do musical theater. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Um, and then I have all this debt. How long did you do that tour for? I did the tour for two years. Wow. Then my, then I fucked up my back in Tampa because we were like traveling nonstop and I was like lifting all these bitches off these chairs and I was like. <laughs> Everybody get it together. Yeah. Like in the show. Or... In the show. Okay. Yeah. And then I, I tore. Uh, I don't know if I you're still in your straight face there. You're. Oh, definitely, some definitely, and... definitely straight. Some, some moves. Still straight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Finger blasting the entire. <laughs> yeah, I was like, cast. bam, 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 bam. <laughs> yeah, finger blasting all yous. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Just one handers. <laughs> On the bus. On stage. On stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I broke my back basically. I go home. I'm like in PT for like two months, and we're supposed to go to uh, China. And I get a random phone call. This was like this is actually the, where it really began. The, li- the this is where the life really begins. Um, I get a phone call from two one two. And back in the day, we'd always joke, "Oh, two one two is calling. It's Broadway." Oh, we, I still we still do that. You still do it. Yeah, Broadway. Broadway. It's Broadway. Broadway. We Broadway's still calling. Make that joke. Yeah. Um, and I was on the couch, like I was almost done with this like recovery. I was about to like get my schedule to go to China to do hairspray in China because the tour was still going on. And then all of a sudden, I get a call from two and two, and I pick up, and I will never forget. I was eating, chi- <laughs> I was eating chips on my couch watching Maury, and it's dark times, and it was hairspray Broadway called or Laura Green's office, and she's like, "Hey, is this Constantine?" And I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "It's Laura Green's office." I was like, "Awesome." thinking that they're going to give me my schedule for China. And I was like, what's up? I was like, is this um, about the, chi- the China schedule? And she was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. She's like, this is Hairspray Broadway. And I was like, oh, okay, hey. I'm thinking everybody's in the same office. They're like, great. Um, Ashley Parker Angel also broke his back. And uh, we have nobody. They need to-, to adjust the choreography. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly. He had the same exact injury as me, which oh is my wild. Oh, God. So it's cooked into the show then. I know, right? I was like, cut it. <laughs> uh, now I'm like walking like bag of bag of bones over here. I have like no cartilage left. Yeah. Um, so they call and they're like, um, it was a Saturday morning, and they're like, how how quickly can you get to the theater? <sighs> and I was like, the Neil Simon, and she was like, yeah, um, you're on on Tuesday. We're we're offering you Link Larkin on Broadway for uh, a month because. Ashley's out. And I was like, what? Wait, what? Crying again. Yeah. Now the, now I'm screaming, being like, oh my God, this is like dream come true. They're like, get to the theater now. You have, a, you, have, you have to go into a hair and makeup and a wardrobe and whatever to get fitted. I go, I have a little rehearsal because it's different from the tour. The Broadway yeah. company is completely different from the, from the tour. And then I, um, Tuesday night, went on. Uh, wow. with, uh, w- with no put in maybe I went like an hour and a half met the cast I was like hey and they're like wait this is the guy from the tour what is he doing here they're like he's your new league clerk for uh, the month wow yeah did that did that the Ashley came back and then after that I they hired me full time for like the year At what did you do full time like when he was when he was back we uh, understudy and like no no I left I, I went back I went his contract was like up maybe like a month after oh he came back. okay so in my eyes I was like well, this was great I'm gonna probably go back to tour and then they were like, actually, we're going to hire you back. Yeah. Full time. Insane. Amazing. Talk to me about these these Broadway injuries. Because I know you almost got in, you got injured. Well, I uh, got injured Gutenberg, falling down. You were walking down the stairs, stairs. normally. Oh, okay, cool. I, I, I was doing not anything. doing anything a part of the show. <laughs> I just fell downstairs. You're just mentally ill. I once, I had a callback for a TV thing, and I did book, and I remember I was so excited, I ran down the stairs, and I went flying. Really? <laughs> and I don't, it's not an often thing, and yeah. I was like, oh my God, if I had broken something. Yeah. What's the, back, was this the worst injury you've had? Yeah, it was bad. It was L5, S1, so like, sacrum area, like mm-hmm. where you could bend over. I could not bend, I truly like to brush my teeth. It was like that much. Oh my God. Excruciating pain. What are the horror stories? I guess Spider-Man is the classic. Well, he died. Someone Spider Man. Yeah. Someone died in Spider Man. Not Spider Man, but not Spider Man. Somebody died in Spider Man. Someone died in yeah. Spider Man. Yeah, they broke. They broke, fell. They, they fell, like broke fell. their back, and I think died. No, I don't think they died. No, let's start spreading. No, they let's try to. They didn't die. I thought he died. <laughs> That's crazy. 
see. I mean, we can look. They would have shut down the show if he no, died. I mean, they tried. No, I've seen they the tried. video. There's two people. There was like eight, 87 injuries in that show. The funniest one was there was the guy whose foot got crushed, I believe, and suddenly yeah, he's, again, he's which... on like Good Morning America the next day, like. Disney is great, and they were doing their oh. best. And I slipped up, and oh, I was like, I'm sure I he got know millions. I want to know the money. Yeah, there was. This, I want to know. There was this one girl at Wicked who, she went up. She was a flying monkey, and she fell f- like flat on her face. They they, a, a rope snapped, <gasps> oh. and, and they stopped the show. And they were like, everybody into your dressing rooms now. You cannot do not look at her. Don't talk. Don't talk to her. Do not. You cannot. Nothing. No eye contact. Do not. I mean, the lawsuit was crazy. She then disappeared out of nowhere and was not allowed to talk to any of us. So we had no idea. She never came back to the show. She got up. I'm sure. Wait, you were in the show at this time. I was playing Fear at the time. I was oh, like, Oh my god. So okay. So you, did you hear it? Were you backstage? Were you on stage? I was on stage. They stopped oh. the show, and I was like, I was like, God damn it! I was like, I just killed that number. What is happening? Because you don't ever stop that show. That show's a yeah. beast. And I just heard her scream. We heard we heard her scream, and everyone's like, "Get off stage downstairs, dress rooms now." Did they close the curtain. Close the curtain. They're like, "Ladies and gentlemen, the show will begin uh, in about five minutes. We have a technical difficulty." But they all saw. They all saw her fall from the. I mean, she fell from the back, but like you probably couldn't see it because there was like cogs and shit and fucking flying yeah, witches yeah, and yeah. like, yeah, you can't see shit on that stage. Someone should have pulled the curtain back, like revealing the wizard and yeah. saying, "Guys, this is evil." Yeah. Wait, so. So then you guys just never heard from her again? Never heard from her again. And you have no idea? She was not allowed to talk to any of us and to tell us what happened. Did anyone say, no, we're not going back there. That's my friend. Yeah, I there, mean, were, there must be so much money involved then. She probably got millions of dollars. You really think so? I swear to God, 1,000%. Uh, I, I think we... She just gave up on her dreams? She said, oh, I, I came this... I mean, this is kind of an exit well, strategy. I mean, she, she got really hurt, I think, too. Like, broke a bunch of shit. What's oh. her name? I can't say. Let's find. I can't say her name. Will you tell us after. I want to find her. Yo, oh, God. Yeah. You know we're filming it right here. Oh, great. But- <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually don't remember her name. <laughs> um, that's so. I but it was scary. I was like, that's that's. Fucked I mean, up. if I'm in most shows and they were like, here's even fifty thousand dollars, you can't talk to anyone. Oh, again. I'd be like, great. I'd I'll never talk. Great. Yeah, I'd be like. Fine. Same. I, Titanic is going to give you 50. I, and I can't, I can't talk to Connie stage. again? Okay. Yeah, LOL. I'll see him. <laughs> I'll just go over. I'll talk offline. I just think about all the actors who like had to play the Flying Monkey in Act 2, and they're like, can we, can we skip I this? I know, yeah. Can we check all the ropes? Well, yeah, yeah. it was really it was crazy. It was just, it like snapped, and it was like something that was so oh, funny. Oh, that's so scary. There's this other guy in Little Mermaid who got a shit ton of money because he broke his back. He fell like from the oh. top. All the way down. The falling is the so scary. The falling is so scary. Broke his back, and then I think now he like owns Disney. Theatricals. I've heard stories about like Disney, too. Like the, If you get injured at the park or something. Are you talking about this? Someone told me a story. Did you tell me that story? Did you tell me? I didn't someone tell here, I felt like, told me a story. <laughs> about what? About someone getting injured on a Disney ride, and then they're like family. Like They have like... It's no one ever knows what they were awarded. I think they died. Someone died on a ride or something. Oh. But then now they have like everybody's the dead. family gets like is it's like a I, there's some some deal. They get free passes for the Disney. But like it's like no no there was like you money imagine involved, you, every time you go like, to Space Mountain there's this like mourning family that like, <laughs> constantly gets put to the front of the line. I don't know, but like the the show injuries are scary. But like yeah. when people fall from like I don't know, it's just horrifying because then everyone's watching too. Everyone's a part of it. Yeah. I've never gotten injured on stage. Real, I mean, I've you know small things, but not like. Has anyone ever died in a in the Broadway show? I mean, I think I there's know. been like. I think there's heart attacks. I'm sure. Yeah, I would add that to the show as like you know how sometimes like a, a actor will pretend to break yeah. for a comedic moment. Yeah. yeah, like I think if I saw Wicked, what would make it memorable? This guy right here. One I don't do that. What? Oh, pretending to break? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what is his name? Carrie St. Louis? Yeah. <laughs> Dragger. Um, when that happened, did they tell you, hey, don't talk about this? Oh, yeah. They were like, we can't talk about this. It is like, we are sweeping it under the rug with, we have legal a part of it. That's what they said, too. Yeah, we are sweeping, sweeping everything under the rug. Uh, that's our You guys can't statement. ask questions. Yeah. It is now going on, it's going to legal. 
So we have to completely Oof. bow out. I just think it's especially when when I I understand all art Suits all is art is corrupt and and evil at this level, but when the show is literally about like good and evil and doing the right thing and yeah. doing the wrong thing, I mean that's where it feels just really poignant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so you're, are do you feel free? If I were to say to you, what do you think of the Wicked trailer? Are you going to answer me honestly? Oh yeah. What do you think of the Wicked trailer? Love it. Absolutely love it. I think it looks great. How long did you do Wicked? On and off 10 years. Wow. I went back like 20, yeah. 21. I had just had COVID and I got, I hadn't done it in seven years. And I, um, or everybody was, it was, you know, COVID, COVID, but when everything was coming back and I got a call from uh, one of our stage managers and she was like, hey, Connie, um, what are you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> and I was like, no. I was like, what do you want? Yeah. They're like, you're on tomorrow if you want to, if if you if you can do it. Yeah. I was like, I haven't done the track in seven years, babe. Do any of these shows? Do you doing them? We we talk a lot about having to do the same the same show over and over. Do you ever go crazy? Oh yeah, mentally, mentally ill. Yeah. Yeah, not as bad as Marla, but sure. <laughs> yeah. Because really talking crazy. to Marla was just interesting in that Marla really seemed like not into ever doing musical theater ever again, and yet yeah. she's. Continuing to write new musicals where sure. she's putting herself yeah. as the lead. Yeah. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I imagine it's slightly different when you're when you've written a show. Yeah. And the show that you've written is a little is more free than totally. a lot of shows are. It's so yeah. strict though. I I did a play before I really switched to stand up comedy and I thought it'd be fun doing my own show, but I was still then stuck in the confines of my own show and when a scene didn't work I had to like I had no one to blame and I couldn't change it like they just hit a point where there was like the whole second act was like it needed something and I we didn't have time to fix it yeah. and so every day I had to go into the show knowing that halfway through it I was going to lose the audience <laughs> I didn't say sucked um, <laughs> like I was amazing what about ghosts can you talk about ghosts like Ghost the Musical? That's the one you did, yeah. yeah. Like the Demi Moore, uh, Patrick Swayze one? Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. This is where all musicals are going these days. It's just movies. It was wild. Made as musicals. It was wild. It was, what, I think it was 2012 that happened? 2011, 2012. Is it considered, and I, I don't mean this cruelly, a uh, flop? A flop? Yeah, 1,000%. Uh-huh. We, we it ran was good. For, it like did well in the UK. It did incredible right? in the UK. Yeah. How long was it in the UK? I want to say like a couple years. And they, here's the here's the gag is that they flew the entire Broadway company. Oh, yeah, you told me this. They flew us all for a week to London to go see the production and do like I don't know meet and greets with the cast and then do some press stuff. And Very like, confident, a lot of money. So much money. Was were, were the London people into that or were they like we were hoping to be transferred to Broadway? No, they they all know that they weren't gonna go. So um, I mean it was fun. They ran to it. Everyone was like, oh my god, you're playing me. Oh, you're playing me. Yeah. So it was one of those. Who was better looking, you or the guy playing you? Um, well, I I was a standby, so I I stood by for the Patrick Swayze role, and and then I understudied the uh, evil one. The fuck's his name? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't you know. Know, what I'm you know the the only reason to see the show is just to do that clay scene. The clay scene was great. I had to learn how to play the guitar, which was insane because I can't do two things at the same time. Um, especially with an instrument. So uh, they were like, you're going to have to play this live. I was like, no, I'm not. I was like, just have the guy downstairs play it, and I'll just like fake it. Yeah. I was like, you're not going to fucking make me learn how to play guitar. But I had guitar lessons every single day for like an hour before the show. Oh, my God. And I still can't play the fucking song. I was yeah. like, Unchained Melody, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> not happening. But yeah, it was crazy. The show was really, honestly, it, it could have worked if it was just like the four characters, like Whoopi Goldberg, you know, to me, Patrick Swayze, evil guy, that's it. Yeah. And then, like, the magic was unbelievable because it was David Copperfield. He came in and did, like, insane magic. Wow. Oh. I've talked shit about David Copperfield on this podcast. Yeah. But wow. that was back in the day when he was still not phoning it in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. meet him? He came to opening night, yeah. His assistants came and, like, set the show. Sure. But it was wild. What is it like being part of something that big that feels like it's falling apart? Or that it's going to close. How long was it actually running? Four months. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Including previews. Including previews. Wow, that is quick. When do yeah. you... you uh, first, you're excited? Of course. I was like, oh, my God. It was my first, um, I think, original company. New. New. I've never been... I was never part of, like, an original Broadway ca a company before. I was just, like, all in these, like, old running fucking shows for years, so... And you were understudying, but were you in the ensemble otherwise? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. And, um... 
Yeah, it was just crazy. It was really fun. And then we saw it in London and we all turned to each other and we're like, oh. I hope they I hope they change it. I hope they've learned. And then they came back and then it got a little Wait, why? What was wrong with it? It was there doing was, well there. It was doing well there, but then we saw it and I was like, This is not gonna fly in New York. It was just like you know how you're like, we, like less in, British accents for sure. Yeah, wait. Oh my god, there's this guy on the on the album. He's like, he's like, Odom A. Brown is a charlatan. And I was like, what the hell is it? I was like, we're gonna say charlatan. And I was like, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah. I'm like, get it together. Um, but yeah, no, the um it was it was bad when we saw it in London. And then they came back here and they tried to like like really juice up the ensemble like making a full dance show and i was like guys you can't have ghost the mute like the movie and then have these like new york numbers where we're just like with briefcases being like we're on the go new york new york new york the greatest oh, place God. you'll ever be and we're like turning fucking chairs i was like this is yeah. insane and then we were ghosts like everybody was a separate ghost there was like a 1940s ghost i was a pilgrim ghost there was like <laughs> Like, Did you have a line as a pilgrim? Oh, I have no what lines as a pilgrim. There was just us in the hospital scene, like something was happening. And there's just like a gaggle of party city ghosts around a dying body. And I was like, this is so wild. Yeah. And I was like, you're not going to cut this number? Yeah. I was like, cut the number. So you had to put on a whole outfit and you just float? I, and then I, you float off I have stage? to find the pilgrim costume. But they didn't, they, we knew, I think the show was clearly not reviewed well. So they didn't give me like a like a full wig, so they were like, mm, "What are we gonna do? We, he needs a wig." They gave me Casey Levy's old wig that she never wore, and they dyed it white. <laughs> so her and I had the same hair, and I was like, "So you're gonna you're gonna give me Casey's old wig?" They're like, "You have a tiny head; it fits." <laughs> I was like, "Cool." What is it like? Because for people who don't know, the reviews don't come out until after opening night. Opening night. Opening they night. come out. Yeah. They come out, they come out what? Like 10 midnight. p.m. They come out le- 11 like, right, or 12. The, once the show goes down, you're like, oh my God, that was amazing. I nailed it. You it's get like, to the you party. Get raped. You get to the party and then like the vibe, you feel the, like having just, you know, done, yeah. you kind of feel the vibes of like the, the, the how the party feels and everyone's, it's like everyone gets the party. It's fun, fun, fun. And then you're, you're like, then the reviews start coming in and it's either, you know. Uh, and is everyone at the party or... now that you have phones? Are you all like sneaking away? Yes. Are you like, oh, going, yeah. like oh my god? Look you're what going to the said. bathroom. You're like looking. You're yeah. You know, and then yeah, they're yeah. just like, what do they say? What are the times? Do you say? feel the party? Do you do you feel the mood of the party? One thousand any, percent. Does anyone make a toast and go like, well, we we tried. Well, no. we're having fun. Just no. no one says anything. No, I think they're just they. That everyone's... sounds like the worst. It's Night the of- worst. I hate when they do it. It's like let us enjoy it, and then like the next day, like let's do just do it the next morning. Do it the next morning. Yeah. I don't like. Don't look at it now. Yeah. Like or let's don't enjoy have it, it. Out now. Like yeah. They, they really should wait till the next. They should you know though? Morning. Like, did you show up at the party? And go oh, like- I knew. I was like, I was like, this shit's close. I was like, we're totally gonna close. Where was the party? It was, was it a good party. It was actually a great party. I mean, they had so much money. That's the thing. I, was- I they were so rich. I was like, this is awesome. It was at the tunnel. Okay. Do you remember that? Yeah, I've heard of it. Heard of I- it. No, I haven't heard of the tunnel. Uh, it's called the tunnel. It was like a, I, I think they, like Carrie Bradshaw went there in the Sex and the City. Um, and it was like this, like a big place in like the 90s, 80s, 90s. And then they closed it down and then now they've reopened it and they made it like a event space. I just love someone being there who doesn't know what's going on. It's like, everyone at this party seems... Yeah, everyone sucks at this sad. party. Yeah. Yeah, I think we all just got wasted. We're like, whatever, it's going to be fun. Yeah, I saw a funny thing from, uh, I forget what his name, Zach Braff was talking about like... Um, doing Broadway and, and like being like the rehearsals are so fun, the previews are fun, and then you do opening night party and like and like if it's bad, <laughs> then you're just like, well, we'll just do the same show. It's locked already. So you're like, you just like you find out that it's bad and then you're like, well, we're not making any changes. It's just now we just do this bad show like yeah. every night. You know, it's like a bizarre mental. It's thing. so weird to me how yeah. you can't go like how the the script is locked. Yeah. It's like, well, the Bible's locked. And you're yeah. like, what do you mean? We can't. It's not working. Let's change it. Yeah, but, but then can. you change it, and then someone dies from falling on a new rope that was added, yeah. and then they go, "That's why we don't change it." Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's true. That's like that's where you where like especially that's why I struggle with my play where I was like, "Can I just change it?" Because like it's I'm saying it and I'm writing it, so we can change it. But then they're like, "But then the cues, the cues, it's the and cues." You're like, you're like, 
boop, 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 boop. Like we have to hide. We have, to have another rehearsal. Jeez. It's the fog. We gotta add more fog. Don't even. Don't get Connie started. Don't get fog. me started with fucking stage fog. Okay. What? You don't like it? No. It can choke. It needs to go. It is it, truly garbage. It, it is the worst. It get, gives you bronchitis. It gets you sick. I can't. It gets you sick. I got so you sick. I'm get, so allergic to it. Yeah. Really? Yes. Well, you'd be eating get bronchitis from it. No, nope, but I got something else. You'd come from off stage it. and he'd be like, he'd be like, I'd be pissed. Yeah, he'd be like, there's too much fog today. Yeah. It really is an that. easy way to add a false sense of depth. Yes. 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 And like, and like, oh, budget. Whoa, smoke. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I did a shoot once where it was like supposed to be like a stage play in black and white, and the, the constant smoke. Yeah. Every sh- every take they had it's, to bring in the smoke. Yeah. I mean, like, but like, try singing when, like through that shit. You can't. It's just yeah. like sits, and then it like picks up all the fucking dust in the air, and it's just like, ha ha ha, we're gonna put that in your throat. The theaters are there. I I it doesn't bother me with fog, um, but there are a lot of things at theaters where you feel you're inhaling like old like mold. Shit. Yeah, yeah, like like moldy ass feel like, asbestos. Like I feel like yeah. You know what? Uh, uh, Natalie Walker told me. I'm trying to do a, a thing with Natalie Walker. She said that in Chicago, the musical. Uh, who played the original? Um, not she, the other one. BB Newworth. That she had to call out, and they said she got a sp- a sparkle stuck in her throat or a feather. Something happened, and that's why Liza Minnelli filled in. Why? The question was: Is it apocryphal? Did they just need Liza to fill in to get some ticket sales? But that it was like a, a sparkle or a feather went in her throat. I also heard Len Carew in Sweeney Todd. He had to be underground some stuff like underneath the dirt. And inhaling the dirt fucked up his vocal cords. I bet. Forever. I mean, I bet if you're yeah. inhaling dirt. Why was he under dirt? Yeah, because he's like he's like he comes out. Attend the tale. <laughs> what? I saw Why? I saw a video with the the new guy doing the uh, and I hadn't seen Aaron Tavidi. Is that how you say it? Tavate. Tavate. Tavidi. Tavidi. Oh, it's my guy, Aaron Tavidi. Like they shoot him out of the thing. It looks like they throw him out of like they cannonball his ass. That's what it looked like in the video. Maybe that's wrong. It didn't feel like, it, like he like popped Which, like, wait, for the, his entrance. You know, in the beginning. <sighs> yeah. It looks like he like shot out of the stick. <laughs> Okay, okay. Just... here's here's a character. So it's, it's you. Tavidi. You're shot out I of a cannon. Okay, here it is. Okay, here's the character. You're shot out of a cannon. And you have to sing. But when you land, you break both your ankles, <laughs> <laughs> and you have to keep going. Attend the tale. Sweeney Todd. Wow. Uh, I haven't seen the revival. Have you? Sweeney Todd was one of those that I like when I first got a musical theater. Like I got it from Amazon, and I listened and I read the libretto, and I've heard it so many times yeah. that most of the songs I feel that uh, some feeling it's a mix of boredom and dread yeah. that I have to hear it again. That's why I know I couldn't do a long show. I get filled with this like I can't. If I hear a song from The Lion King, it's a similar feeling. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. Into the Woods similar. Some Sondheim though, it's fresh. Yeah. Merrily felt like my. Oh, God, I loved it. I just saw time. it. I loved it. God, it is is the perfect any any artist of any stripe can watch it and go like, oh fuck. Yeah, I love it. I'm one of these people, uh-huh. and they all suck. <laughs> they all suck. Monsters. Yeah. Um. Uh. God, I I'm trying to think. I have one more Broadway thing I want to talk about, but I also feel like there there are some people who are they're gonna be like bye. bye. And, they're, bye. They've, they've already left. They left like yeah, 25 minutes left. ago. But you've done Broadway Bears. Oh, yeah. So for those who don't know, Broadway Bears, they get all the Broadway performers who <laughs> have eating disorders, yep. and they have right them here. like do a, a big, sexy show. Sexy. Like burlesque Sex. show. It's With the, the theme. <laughs> how, you've done it a lot, probably. Mm-hmm. Are there any years where you're like, oh, I'm, not, I'm not in shape for Broadway Bears this year? I did, how many years? Uh, I think I've done three, uh, four Broadway, Broadway Bears. Um, it's yeah. a lot of stress. Yeah, it is. It's really fun. Honestly, it's like one of the nights where everybody comes together and it's just like that's I'm where sure you feel, they do. that's where you feel community. Yeah. If you know what I mean? I you finger banging one by one. I mean, there there, uh, there there must be some there's gotta be some fun uh parties after that one. Beyond. The early days were really fun. When I was like in my twenties, I was like, This is wild and you just go out to the after party until like four or five o'clock in the morning. Everything. Whatever you want. I, I don't even know what we don't everything entails. <laughs> We're like we're like we're massages like, like, like shoulder just, rubs boobs out what yeah yeah boobs out <laughs> boobs out whatever you wanted it was out whatever you want no those were the fun times where are the parties they would it would it would switch um, 
Be specific. Now, but is everyone doing Broadway Bears? I mean, they're all they're. Is it? It's not a very body inclusive event. Am I correct? It is now. It is now. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> giving people what they want. It is now. Wait, when of did Bro- wait, was there was there a big reckoning with the Broadway Bears where they said guys? No, I mean I just like back in the in your like back in the day. Everybody was just, you know, a mess, being like, I, I have to get so, so snatched because I'm naked and I have to blah, blah, blah. But I feel like now people are like, fuck it, here you go. I have tits and ass and I'm going to let you have it. This is why Broadway's failing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to bring that fear back. I was in LA. I was yeah, bring this, it back. I was taking this yoga class in LA and I take, I take yoga for a long time and, and it was like really hard. It was like, I was like, I think I'm the worst. And I looked around and I was like, oh, everyone's, everyone here is gorgeous. It was like I was like fully in an LA. Hot this yoga. was the hard hardest yoga class. Fake tits everywhere. I know how mm. they were holding these poses. I love it. Mm. And it was uh, it j- just one of those moments where I'm like, why why would I enter this? Why would I enter this business? Yeah, you know, and easier as a guy for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I just look around at all these people. I'm like, all of them are working so hard. Yeah. Do you ever just want to let it go? Let your body go? Just Always. Fuck it. Bye. You think but I actually, that? I love it. I mean, it's more of like a mental thing for me too now. Like, I just love getting, like, going to the gym and being like, oh, I'm going to clear my mind. Trainer? Just doing it on your own? No. My own. Really? Yeah. I'm doing trainer. Connie had a parasite recently. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what happened? So, <laughs> you had a parasite? Yeah. Yep. I was sober for about a week, and it was uh, really good. It was great. What's a, what is a, what is a parasite? A parasite like, is... um. Like a, a worm. We, stop, we can cut that. No, because I I don't care. You know how hard it is to cut. Stop volunteering <laughs> cutting. You don't do any uh, of the work. When we cut, it is a fucking nightmare. I had to pay Douglas to make a new song oh my for cuts. God. My God, dear Christ! No, I saw a thing on on Twitter recently. It was a bear, and there were these things coming out of it, and it was worms. A parasite. Yeah, a parasite. Yeah, I, apparently I got it. Everyone's like, "Did you eat ass?" I was like, "No, Queen, I'm not doing that." Um. They eat my ass. Um, I gave them my parasite. No, the like you're imagine you're eating ass. You're like, what's 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 coming out? <laughs> it's a parasite. Yeah. <laughs> so this bitch, I was I saw Russell. Was it your last show? No, it was. Uh, Where it was were we? Way after it was Marla's birthday. Oh, it was Marla's birthday. Yeah. Um, so I had this parasite. It was actually terrible. Like I woke up one day and I was like, whoa, why am I like so pregnant? Where I'm, I I I can't button my pants. I was like, this is wild. I was like, what did I have last night? Nothing. So I'm literally nothing. I was like, literally nothing. Dinner. I was like, I don't understand this. Um, and then it was like really uncomfortable. And I was like, what the fuck is this? So I went to the doctor and he was like, mm, I think you have a parasite. And I was like, <laughs> right out the gate. Yeah. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, he's like, you have a parasite. He's like, did you eat ass? <laughs> did he? I was like, that's, no. That's the term? Yes. There's no term for eating ass? Like, well, because all the gays, it's like, it's like, it's like, gays like all the gays get parasites. They're like Girardia. <gasps> I know. Did he? How did he know? Did he like feel your belly, or did he like listen he just to knew it? it? He was like, "What?" He, he like was like, "Your ass." He's like, he, 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 like, he <laughs> ate my ass. He's like, I, he's like, "Is this what it looks like?" Yeah. He's like, mm, "That's it. That's parasite." <laughs> Wait, the doctor used the term. Did you eat? Some yeah, ass? I mean, we're we're close. We're friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and he's also gay, so he was just like, um, uh, babe. <laughs> he says, babe. He's like, babe. Did you eat ass? And I was like, no. He's not wearing his lab coat. He's, He's shirtless and fag. Yeah, yeah, very doctor, very great patient. Parasites. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, he was like, I think it's that. He's like, you're going to do this uh, like stool sample. And I was like, cool. Where do you want to do it? In this bathroom? He goes, oh, no, baby. You have to go home, poop in a cup, scoop it out, and then put it in these little vials. And then bring it back down to me. I was like, so you want me to go to Harlem, poop in this cup? And then bring this down by 6 p.m. I was like, what do you want me to just shit on on the site? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. I was like, well, that's never going to happen. I was like, so I'm going to do it tomorrow. So I had to literally take my bag of shit from my apartment. In vials, though? You had to put it in vials? In vials. How I'm sorry. Vials? I'm sorry. We're going to fall. Four. So you poop in a cup. You poop in this, like, plastic bin. <laughs> Did you set it up in the bathroom just on yeah. top of the You set it it literally goes from like on on a toilet on the toilet seat like this. Did Marla huh? help? Marla helped. She had no idea. <laughs> if she she's gonna know now that I literally shit in a cup in the bathroom and I, then I had to take this little tiny spoon that comes with each vial. Uh, like a little Coke spoon? Like or a Coke like- spoon. <laughs> <laughs> like a Coke spoon. And just 
Russell's going to throw up and individually put it in little vials. Why and four that, vials? Why not just one vial and they, they because, split it up at the lab? No. <laughs> yeah, it but seems here's, like they're really throwing off a lot of work on you. Yeah, it's a lot like, of work. Yeah. These two are for us. <laughs> but also, what do you do with the whole plastic shit can that you've just pooped in? What do you have to do with that? Oh wait, you, they don't get that back. No. So you just what do you? So what do, do I? What do you? What, you what am I gonna just? A, what am I gonna throw? A garbage human can. feces in a garbage? A garbage can. You That's do. crazy. That's what you do though. You no. go to the street and do it. I should have, but I was like, I can't do that. Yeah. Could you imagine, Marla, just like me tying up garbage? No, but no, not in your house. In my house. Go on the street. You're saying that you're just you're just going outside, going bloop into a public garbage can. Yeah, oh, into a me, public garbage. You can. want me to just shit in a cup uh, outside? No, no with, the no. Tray. With, the, with the with the with the with the tray. Once you're done with it, that you don't need, put it in a plastic need, bag. Put it in a plastic then, bag and go outside and throw it into a pub a public. That just seemed so. You crazy. know the thing that Tova brought. What the did you do in though? Last night? You I I like dumped it, it out. I ate it. <laughs> I put it in the toilet, and then I had to, like, clean it. And then I was like, this is yeah. absolutely insane. You um, cleaned it in the toilet? Like, I like that was I a like, sink? And then I, like, had to clean it. Oh. And then you threw it away. And then I threw it away. It was so disgusting. Oh, my But God. then I found out I had a parasite, and then they gave me all the medication to get rid of it. And then I went to Brazil, so I probably got another one. <laughs> Don't use this bathroom again. I sort of yeah, guess. where is it? To okay, the left. When, the, the medication kills the parasite. Yeah, medication like r- like kills you. And does yeah. it ever come out? Yeah. So I put I did what you told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you tell him to do? You give do you know advice. what he told me to do? Give me advice. So I saw Russ and I was like, I've been sober for a week, and he's like, Congrats! And I was like, I have a parasite. He's like, Awesome. And then uh, he was like, Do you know how you can get rid of it to like see it how it comes out? And I was like. No, what? He's like, you take a bowl of pasta <laughs> and you put butter in it. And then you sit over the bowl of pasta and then it pokes its head out. And I was like, I'm going to do that. And you know what? I did it. And it worked. I read that. I heard about it. <laughs> A bowl of pasta yeah, like, with butter. What, what, you could, I don't think it was. I don't think it was squatting over it. But I, thought, I think it was. I think it was. You would. <laughs> you would squat over it. You babe. would. You would open your mouth o- over the pasta and and the buttered pasta and it would maybe crawl up your wait it come out your mouth come up yeah come up from your stomach uh, <laughs> where did you read this i've heard it somewhere as a child yeah I've, I've that mi- I've, that's how you want it to come out through I, the mouth i mean into to the get pasta? it out quick as possible you he know said, uh, well he said just you know or squat, squat over it, it. <laughs> he wanted me to squat over it and i was like okay don't get why pasta like this is like garfield <laughs> Also, also the parasite is you can't even see it. It's like non-existent. It's like a, it's so tiny. It is the tiniest yeah, thing. Yeah, you yeah. can't see shit. Yeah. And it lives. So this specific one that I had lives. It wasn't like a tapeworm. I think maybe yeah, I'm thinking tape, of you're thinking of tapeworm. Yeah, there's this, nothing that comes out your mouth if you put pasta in front of it. Okay. There's nothing. I'm sure some Debbie Downsiders are gonna look up tell them tape, hey. tapeworms. That's what happens. Yeah, tapeworms. Yeah. And then invite them to be on the show. Yeah. About. But eventually you did in theory poop it out. No, I think I killed it with this insane antiparasitic drug called Flagyl, which is the worst thing for you. It like ruins your microbiome, <laughs> so don't ever take it. Um, it makes you cra- mentally insane. Really? Yeah. You felt crazy? Oh, I felt crazy. I was exhausted. I felt crazy. I was tired, and then I was just like depressed. I was like, this is wild. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, it's the side effects from this crazy antiparasitic. I was like, okay. And how and do you then, think you got it if not eating ass? I mean, is this it, like the It's from food. Ass? So no, this one's not this one wasn't the eating ass one. This was uh, a specific one that's in food, soil, or contaminated water. And I was like, cool, what do we live in? Oh, third world country. <laughs> I was like, how did I get this? But there was like it's very common. This is amazing. I, I went to a doctor once, not as exciting, but I had a rash here, and she was like, Did you eat lime? Did you eat something with a lime in it in the hot sun? And I was like, Yes. And she was like, that's what it is. What? Like they notice a trend that's happening. Oh my God. Well, like tacos? Like uh like I had a margarita, frozen margarita, and in the heat the the lime juice on your skin can have a specific kind of reaction. Wild. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, happy Cinco. Ever get a rash? Ever get a rash? Uh, or a worm? No, no wet no real rashes, no real worms. We should do a Patreon episode where we take that medication and see how it goes. I know. Oh, it's the worst. Don't do it. 
you know, Honestly, I wasn't. Don't I was do it. Um, I hope you don't. I hope nobody gets a parasite because it sucks. It was the most uncomfortable, worst experience ever. And then your shits are not normal for like months after because it's ruined everything in your system. Oh, not normal. How? I. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. If, if, <laughs> hey, if, hey, can you get a bowl of pasta? <laughs> Let's go on to our next segment. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. Ooh, get some harmony. Um, this got to stop. This is where we talk big, small, specific, personal, grand, whatever. Something has got to stop. And we have been, uh, we've had some good ones recently. Yeah. Um, uh, I got one. Do you got one? Oh, do you, is yours related to last night? Commercials? Yeah. Okay, let's Attacking do a double. This has got to yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. What? Celebrities in commercials. Now, not all celebrities, and, and you can disagree with me here. Mr. T, great. You're, Let you're, Mr. T have a commercial. You're not yeah. doing anything else. Someone goes, T, Skechers, great. But if you are a fucking working actor in TV and movies and making millions and millions of dollars, get the fuck out of the commercial. We know what you're doing. Agreed. We know that you can tell that society is collapsing and you need as much money as you can get so you can build a big bunker. And you go like, well, I have enough for a small bunker, but I want, I want Beyonce to come over. So let me, let me fucking do this stupid, dumb commercial. Jeff Goldblum, if it's not you, it's me. So get the fuck out of these commercials. You don't know, three commercials, Jeff Goldblum. Also, Harvest.com, Homes.com, whatever the third fucking thing yeah. was. Also, also the progression of uh, we used to tune in for the commercials because they used to be funny, funny, and then they were just like funny commercials that we didn't care who was in it. It was like, what are the funny commercials going to be in the Super Bowl when we were growing up? Okay, As somewhere along the way, celebrities started going into the funny commercials. And then that was exciting for people. Oh, we'll put this person in a funny commercial. Or, ooh, we'll reunite these two former stars. Or the sequel. You know, what this- Danny DeVito said. Yes. What's up? Yes. Sure. But then, along the way, <laughs> we have lost. They're no longer funny anymore. Not funny. It's just celebrities in bad commercials. They're like, oh, what's the second beat of this sketch? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ugh. What's the third beat? Christopher Why Walken. What this? are you, Saturday Night Live? Well, Get fucking on the show. <laughs> what are we, what are we, uh, like, it's, it's so frustrating because they're used, I think, I think we need to go back to only uh, film actors, they only did film. They would never, they would never, they should they be, would never, do they would never step down and do TV. You'd go to, you go to China and you do a car commercial and no one ever sees it. That yes. may be. Yeah. And yes. that's because you needed, you, you would like, you, you didn't pay your taxes yeah. when you, you were fucked. Uh, Meryl Streep's doing Hulu? Hulu <laughs> Meryl? No. No. It's hard and, in dumb streets, babe. <laughs> and they've all, they, I think this year, I feel like it's always been a, it's been a creeping problem. This year, it felt like every fucking commercial agency, none of them were talking to each other. Every commercial was like this: four, five celebrities per commercial. Yeah, yeah. that's why my commercial agency just closed. Oh, <gasps> by the way, by the way, we gotta talk, we about, talk about that. that. <laughs> this is why they closed. We saw him. It was the same night. We saw him. It was the same night, and we we had no idea. I had no idea. He literally yeah. went out with us. Okay. Okay, so, okay. so yeah. Russell. Well, we don't have to say what, what it is or what it who is. it was. But you on, say the agency is uh, closed. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, an agency um, that uh, we're uh, with. An agency that I'm with for commercials and Connie is with through writing and things. Yeah. Um, uh, we, uh, I did a fun little reading with, uh, with Connie Marla Ty uh, last week. Um, and so he was there. Uh, he, I know him through the same agency, and we talked to him, and and then an hour later, an hour later, he was like, we were like, we grabbed a drink. He was like, yeah. He's like, actually, I have just have to run back to the office. I've been getting a lot of emails, and they're like, please come to the office. He's like, okay, goes to the office, and what happens? The entire agency crumbles within seconds. Sold out from underneath. Sold them. out. From hope you're happy, Jeff Goldblum. I hope you're happy. You got a new apartment.com. It was the old agencies where A3 was at. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Jeff? A3. I, I was with A3 I've too. I've not heard anything. I've not heard anything. I have no clue. They don't even write you. They don't even write you. I used to, I worked with them with, with Goldblum, who left, thank God. Oh, by the way, Goldblum, who is Jeff's fucking cousin? I feel like. You tell Jeff. I feel like I was with her. I was with her. In LA. She, you know why she liked me? Because I look like her cousin. <laughs> 
That's why she worked with me. She worked with me because I look like her cousin. And now her cousin is Taking all the work. We don't even need agencies. They just need Jeff Goldblum. Yes, people yeah. handle Jeff Goldblum's business. Is Jeff free that day? Oh. No. Yes, tomorrow. Oh my God. But it's bad. But ultimately, look, if it was, if it was good, but it, it's like... The commercials they've they've also like because they don't have to they don't have to be good they just have to have people they just want the people to be like oh my god that person. oh yeah look it's that's Jennifer all Aniston. they want that's yeah. all they're doing that's all they're doing and 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 there's a thing of like when it's older again like Mr T and you know what I'll even give you like an older like a Christopher Walken someone who's there but they really have changed it where right as um who's Abbott Elementary. Uh, 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 Quinta Bronson, yeah. yeah, where it's like right when they're they're at their coolest, they're at their most creative, they're making their most stuff, and it's like that's they're taking them right in that moment, and it just becomes like part of the package of oh, you've now become famous enough that you can be the the spokesman for the this company, yeah. and it's sad, yeah, it's and, sad. and and I don't know. I really do believe it's you know some people some people do this thing of like oh well it's because TV the actors aren't getting paid enough and I'm like that's not the level of actor we're talking about all these actors are getting paid they're getting plenty paid and they're getting paid well I remember Sydney Sweeney said some shit about like she couldn't afford her home and I said shut Get up. the fuck out of here Sydney Sweeney get out of here no you're right. I live with Marla Mandela and Harlem. Were you not going to say anything about Sydney Sweeney? Because Sydney Sweeney and SNL, you're hoping both of those things happen maybe at the end of the road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> at the end of the day, you're another day the older. The day. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah. So, but so, ultimately, yeah. if it's not funny, Wild. it's not funny. And it's it's too much. And it's just not it's not going to go they viral. They were bad. They were bad last night. And and hopefully they not learn right. that you just... You, uh, so... That was good. That was a joint. Stop. Yeah, that's a good this one. Has really got to stop. Yeah, two of us say. Yeah, that's yeah. I was like, ooh, I was like, I'm just gonna watch. Yeah, can't can't can't, can't get a word in. <laughs> Who's the guest here? Me or you? Okay, <laughs> just wanted. That's a lot of the comments we get on episodes. Yeah. Uh, do you have a this has got? <laughs> yeah, you guys, stop. shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> Sorry. Do you have a this has got to stop? Yeah, I do. You know, it's got to stop. Straight girls coming up to gay guys, being like. <laughs> Oh my God, let me guess. You're gay at a bar. And I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, of course you are. Of course you are. Why are you guys all, why are you guys, why is everybody so hot? Like, why can't we just get one? Just give us one. Actually, I have a gay friend. Can I introduce you? And it's a fucking troll from under a bridge. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, hey girl, I'm sorry. Was it all about the introducing? It's all about, all about it's, it's the same. Every straight girl is always like, oh, let me guess. You're gay. Are you gay or straight? And I was like, what do you think? She's like, you're clearly gay because you're just too hot. And I was like, get out of here. And then she's like, of course, we can't get anything. I was like, oh, you can't get anything? Straight girl? Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then she goes, I actually have a gay friend. I think you would really like him. And then they show me a picture of like Schmeagol. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, you actually, I'm sorry. There's, you want me to date this garbage thing from under a bridge that I don't even know because you were just like, you're gay. Yeah. That's got to stop. When they say, let me guess, you're gay, you should start saying. Let me guess. You should, you should just start telling them how many, how many females you finger blast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when they say, let me guess, you're gay, be like, actually, I finger blasted. I, no, because then, then it's opening up a can of worms. That's true. And they're going to be like. That's true. And I'm not they're... finger blasting you, though. Yeah. That's, you're, a, you're... That, that's a rough way to describe finger blasting, yeah. opening a can of worms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Parasites. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's. I didn't know stop. that was a common. Th that, I didn't know that. I didn't know that still happened. It feels like an old thing that it literally just happened to me. Really? Yeah. I was like, get out of here. It's the it's the straight the war, it's the the number one thing is the worst. It's like a straight girl who clearly looks at you and she's like, I, I know gay people and I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce you and then they show you a picture of <laughs> one more one more, more, one, more, one, more one more thing from Chunk. From <laughs> The Goonies. <laughs> they show you a picture of Frankie Grande, and I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Drag him. <laughs> For you, Frankles. Um, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Do you think that is that a specific to New York? Like, do you think it's women in New York who go like, I cannot seem to find any guy? Always. Yeah. Always. It's crazy. But, hey, 
No do, one. Do could, they come to no gay one, bars? Do they come to gay bars too? And they're just doing this to everybody. They're doing it everybody. <laughs> Let me guess. Let me guess. You're. Let gay. me guess. You're gay. <laughs> in Hell's Kitchen, this is wild. At, at the cocksuck bar. <laughs> yeah. On at the Eagle. <laughs> Are we at the Eagle? I did. I did a show at the Eagle. At the Eagle, but there one in really? LA. Is there one in LA called the Eagle too? Yeah. Yeah. And there was like. You did a show there. Yeah, they did a show there. Yeah, Where? there's a show. Um. I mean, they it, like they had a bar area and on all the TVs. Yeah, there's the hardcore gay pornography. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it was distracting to like watch myself. Were while people I were people watching? Um, they were they were watching. Just missed a great know, joke. I, God, you son of a bitch. I, sorry, I asked the Son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're watching. I mean, you get used to the. It becomes background eventually. If we play, no, game but I meant like the enough. people at the bar. Were they watching? Like, were they enjoy? Were they were they watching? I don't know you? if they were enjoying were they, it. They yeah. were watching. Were they watching it? you they were witnessing it. But I thought when they when they said, I guess in my mind when I hear gay, I was like, oh, it's like soft core porn. I know <laughs> it it's was, full porn. It was it's full. Like, yeah. Well, the Eagles also. There's no bar. Can nasty. you imagine a straight? It's nasty. Oh, the Eagles like like leather bar nasty, like. You're gonna go there and get like fisted, <laughs> right, Russell? Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Uh, awesome. Oh, awesome. Yeah, cool, awesome. man. <laughs> wow. Um, let's go on to our. Fi- Wait, let me just get for video. What's your this is? Let me do it to you. What's your this has got to stop? Great. That was just for editing purposes. Okay. Final segment. <laughs> I'm trying to. Sometimes I need to do that. I think what I need to do oh, at the yeah. end of episodes is just to like, is just to do a what do what do you call them? Like takes. Clean yeah, takes. yeah, 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 yeah. Just be like. What's your this has got to stop? You better count your blessings. You better count your blessing. We had a good negative episode. Uh, uh, Russell, do you have something you're thankful? Yeah, my I'm thankful for my my gay super Michael. <laughs> Oh, to for, save your life. Who saved saving, your life? For saving my life yesterday. Oh, that's uh, great. Really the only person in that building who listened and and reacted. And uh, I'm thankful for him. And what was it ultimately? You found out. Yeah, he said um, a tiny piece of glass the size of, of a fingernail was like got in the crack <laughs> and like completely screwed up the whole thing. It's just sort of you're amazed that people well, don't die more often. Yeah. You know, that's all it took to... to Completely take down a whole elevator system. Wow. Yeah. Could he you also said that they had just tested the phone and it worked. And I was like, well, <laughs> from my experience. Why would like, he share babe, that with you? Like, what is that? Like, well, you know. He's like gaslighting me. Tell me that I would just do a degree. I didn't push the button button right. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, pick up the phone and put it yeah. up to your ear. <laughs> my blessing. I got so many blessings. I've been, I've been gone for three weeks. I was on the West Coast, so I have lots of blessings. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, welcome it's, back. Thank you. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. What is that? It's Taylor Swift. <laughs> That's Taylor Swift? She's been waiting for you. <laughs> you is don't that know Titanic? This? No. No, oh, it's actually Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. It's not like that, though. Welcome to yeah. <laughs> Welcome to New York. I bet you I'm in the right key. Hold on. Probably, but also she can choke. Oh, sorry. Whoa. Let's go there. Why? Nobody snubs oh, Celine yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Dion at the Grammys. Okay. Okay. Period. Let's talk about end it. of story. Oh, okay. Do not okay. snub my queen, Celine Dion. It's gonna get the podcast removed from the internet. I sometimes Welcome have perfect. To New York. I sometimes yeah, have that was really good. Do you know what sometimes perfect pitch is called? What? It's not called perfect. There's a word for it. Um, uh, you know, uh, what is it? That's like that's literally like Anchorman. Like sixty percent of the time, I'm. I, I think that higher percentage. Of the time. I think that that's impressive sure. that I was there and be like, "Welcome to New York," and that was right. That was I good. It's not that hard. Give me any song. Give me any song, and I'll get the right pitch. Okay. Okay. Metal Lark. <laughs> um. Uh, okay, I can do it. I'm just trying to lower it now. Make it sing for me when the da 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 and with da 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 I promise. I promise. Wow. Patty Lupon, original cast. Wow. Wow, that's actually yeah very well done. I was never good at ear training, but I can do that. That's incredible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, that was beautiful. I don't know this Thank song. you. Good oh. job, baby girl. This is, this is when, like, Patty... 
Well, we both had pretty good pitch. We do. Yeah, my turn. <laughs> uh, uh, what's what's Taylor Swift? Let's go. Uh, oh wait, but Patty, you gotta listen to that. Patty Lapon. That was like before. That was incredible. Listen, I want Patty to be on this, but like, but like it was before. Before I think, uh, I think when she was still taking notes, and it is incredible. Her in that show. Her, I mean, her voice is is just, butter. Oh. It's crazy. What show? Uh, the Baker's, Baker's wife. wife. Oh, I used to do talk about me pretending to be straight. Was me singing a proud lady. And I'm singing, oh, proud lady. Also correct pitch. And it's just like chest is out. And, and, and I'm so not that at all. I'm the baker. I'm like, well, oh, you fucked my wife. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take you back. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Wait, is that Into the Woods or this, too? <laughs> That's not Into That's the, the Woods. woods. Baker's wife. Well, but the baker, There's a baker and. In the baker. Baker's wife. Is, baker's it's wife incredible. Fucks. It's heartbreaking because he has this young wife. Yeah. And she's beautiful. And then she, he, she fucks like, like Gaston. Oh. And then they get back together it's so beautiful his song oh when she leaves what a great show the book must not work i don't think the book works but um i remember seeing alice ripley do it at paper mill oh. and i was like wtf is happening right now because the accent was wild oh is there an accent there's an accent They're i think she was like irish or something no or? i think she's italian or was she good oh man oh, I mean, incredible I'm sure. alice it was incredible it was, uh, it was, i was i was i was Dead. Is Alice Ripley the one that was in uh Next to Normal? Yeah. Yeah. What was that offensive caricature yeah. of mental illness? <laughs> that was truly I think that's the worst thing you've ever done. No, I was you know, it's a uh, yeah, okay, I take it back. <laughs> uh can I I'll ask this I'll ask a question off the podcast. Okay. Uh remember this conversation. Okay. Um Taylor Swift, were you really bothered by that? Yes. Do you think never was a fan of her? I I can give her that she's a great songwriter. I will give you that. You're a great businesswoman. You've bamboozled the world. I do not know how to <laughs> on that because everybody's a basic ass bitch and she's a basic ass bitch. So they're like, I, I can relate to her. She's basic. I think that that's a pretty accurate, and that's the accurate yeah. thing because Beyonce, I'm sorry, is you can't, a you can't relate. You can't relate. Yeah, that talent to Taylor Swift. Get out of here. Stupid ass. And Listen, then, uh, I, I have to be the counterweight here before we go too far. I, I, I have more problems with the Jets and the centralization of power, but very talented, a very a good, perf- a good actor. Who? Taylor Swift. You think oh, not an actor. Not an actor. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Did you see Cats? Actor of songs. A good, a musical. I don't know what the fuck you guys call it. <laughs> Uh, uh, an interpreter, okay, uh, and a decent enough singer to do those things. Fine, not even yeah. The vocals are trash, but it's interesting story. Every time I'm not a big Taylor Swift fan, and every time I hear the story of what the lyrics are, I'm like, that's a brilliant story. It's I, I will give theater. her songwriting. I think she's a genius songwriter, and she can get a hook and she can write a mean song. I love that for her. But you are not anywhere remotely close to Beyonce, or she's you, never claimed to be. I don't care. But then also, you don't snub Celine Dion at at the Grammys. Do you after. think it was purpose? Do you think not purposeful? Do you think she doesn't respect, or maybe they had like maybe one day she said, "Celine, I'm a big fan," and Celine said, "Get I the think fuck she out of my way." I think no. I, I I to be honest, I think there was probably a lot going on. But also, it's like, girl, you you've won this fucking award every year. Yeah, get out of here. You hugged everybody on stage. Celine Dion came out after not everybody being not being there for like four years. She's made never made a, a appearance because she has the stiff person syndrome. It's like. Get it together. You can't just be like, oh my God, I've never won album of the year before. This is crazy. And you don't even look at her. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. You moron. Wow. Sing wow. for me. I think my only thing, uh, my thing is, I think, uh, a yes, very talented, uh, uh, you know, does the work, puts, or uh, like, like when I'm not she saying, shows up. Oh, she I'm does saying, the work. I'm not saying does the work in any sort of political. I'm saying like literally, she just is working all the time. <laughs> but um, uh, I think my, it just the music doesn't stick with me. Like even when I I listen to like some of the stuff that would would be more up my alley, which is like the folklore or the Evermore. Like I, like I I listen and I'm like that's really pretty, and I like listen and then maybe I try to listen again, and it doesn't. I don't want to return to it. It doesn't no. it doesn't stick with me. It feels like it's like kind of like there and then gone for me. It's not like the tunes aren't where I'm like, yeah, I want to listen to this, you know? But I've I always think, I think I'm always listening and it's like it's pretty, 
and it's good and I it's you know there's good things happening it just doesn't really catch my Sure. Yeah, you hear that Taylor Swift? Try appealing to more men in their late thirties, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, no, I my listen. brother's a super fan. Of I get really? it. Super fan. Yeah, I, I people are super fans. And Did I'm you just hear like, that her like press team? I guess the, the, you know the, the rumor was they realized very quickly that the Celine Dion thing did not look good. And so oh they, yeah, they of got course. A shot of her with Celine. Of course, right? Literally seconds after and Celine probably tried to get away, but she can't. And then Taylor's like, "I'm just gonna hug you over a picture." <laughs> it just seemed all so calculated after and i was like you you know you fucked up i feel like and now I feel damage like so, control someone must have been rude to someone in the past like uh, my theory i guess was it felt rude it felt strange it just felt strange and it made me wonder like did they ever have a bad interaction in the past and who knows i don't know if celine's the nicest to young up-and-coming people maybe she was rude to her once but she just came out after the thing. Well, you're I not going to do what you're not going to do in this podcast. It's, you're not going to. Yeah, you're not going to. In front of my friend. In front of me. Talk about. Who's a number one Celine Dion fan. Okay. That's what you're not going to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. um, kick you out of this apartment. So normally this part we say something we're thankful for. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you have anything you're thankful for? What am I thankful for? Hmm. Uh, what am specific I? Specific person. Specific uh, person. Nice gesture. Uh, it's you know who I'm, you know what I'm thankful for, mm -hmm. Chris Maloney. Oh, really? Because he just gets better, better looking with age. You know, I've been watching. He SVU. looks so hot on SVU. There was like another scene. I was like, Jesus Christ! He's, He's got like anger issues. Slap, I don't care. He's gonna slap you around. You can slap me around. Sixty-five, uh, whatever. He's sixty-four, like sixty-three. He's, not 60 He's got. <laughs> 72. Like he's Never 78. looked better. Too. Stunning. I'm thankful for him. He, were you in Titanic when he came? He came? He came, yeah. Come on. I was in Jesus it. Jesus so. Christ. It was after you left. I left. Yeah. He's got he's got a butt. He's got everything. He's got like he's got like a fat ass though. Yeah, he could get it. How like, old is he? Let's look it up. Let's I don't look think it up. he's 60. He's right. What? He's what? 62. 62. Oh, see? Wow. I was close. 62. Oh. Wow. I can still get it. Yeah, I'm thankful wow. for him. And you know, I'm, I'm so I've been re, I've been re I was like I didn't watch all, so I've been like just putting it on like on live TV, and um, they uh, he's always like, and he and what's her name, they're always like, oh, Mar always Mariska? maybe about to like, feels like it oh yeah, they're gonna happen have any minute, but also that it wouldn't happen, and no, they might they're best friends, I think. Yeah, uh, I don't know. But it's, it's a show about sex crimes, yeah? It's about sex crimes, but it's very horny. The whole show is very, like, horny. Like, I, fe I feel like, when, especially when the two of them They're are reading like, over the victim's case. Well, the other like, day, like, whoa. she got slashed in the throat, and he, like, goes to, like, help her, and then a little girl gets, like, uh, shot in the head because he's sell saving her, and he's like, I care too much about you! And, like, and they can't be partners anymore because they, they care too much about each other, and they might just fuck. And it's... <laughs> Wow, yeah, so, yeah, man. See so that, that? See that should be the commercial for us for you. Just, yeah, you yeah. Just, just, just say I want to fuck so bad. So yeah, they want um, to get into it. Yeah, I think reality. What happened? I think she might have been having a baby. So yeah. they had to write into the story that they weren't going to be partners for like a, a small amount of time while she had a baby. But mm. um, well, uh, this has been again. If you're a fan of the show, join the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Downside. Uh, Chris Maloney, come do the show. Yeah. Taylor Swift, yeah. come do the show. And yeah. I'll delete this episode immediately. Yeah. yeah. Never speak to Cotton <laughs> again. Ever again. If you come on for 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> um, See ya. Anything that you want to plug this coming out February 27th? What do you, where do you want people to find you or follow you or you not or your show? What do you want? Um, yeah, just uh, go see Titanic starring Russell Daniels. <laughs> February twenty. You think you're going to get a tomorrow? I mean, sales sales are going good. Sales are going good. Do you think when now that this announcement has, has hit the streets? I think we're going to extend again. Yeah. Pew 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 pew. That people are yeah. going crazy. They're going nuts. They're, they are though. There's buzz the ticket, about Russell. The ticket price probably uh, crashed. Please. Pushing it. There, you all. You got a lot of cons today. Oh, that's did good. you? I, yeah. I, I mean, I've been. We here. have podcast listeners. They come see them. They do. They have. They've been really supportive. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, and the Titanic people. Oh my God, they've been so lovely. Yeah, we love when you. I, Are you kidding I me? Encounter. Well, I meant like the fans. Oh, like, okay, cool. Yeah, but no, I love you too. But I love you but too. But like the 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 fan, like they're you really like for a show that fits like 
under 300 people a night. Yeah. It's crazy the amount of comments. Yeah, like, the Thai stand in the world. Yeah. As we call them. Is there a, what's what's next for the show other than this than this run? Is there anything global domination, babe? Global domination. Global domination. Yeah, apparently, you know, we're a bunch of stuff's popping up. We're doing maybe London, there's an Australia talk, there's a, oh, there's a Canada oh, talk. Wow, 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 wow. I'm ready to um, you know, be Lynn Manuel Miranda and say see ya. I'm going to be on a yacht. Yeah. But that this probably won't happen anytime soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but a gal can dream. Yeah. You know? So is that what you want to plug? Plug? Uh, yeah. Um, well, plug follow it. me on Instagram at Russell J. Daniels. And then, uh, yeah, I'm uh, in Titanic starting tomorrow through April 21st. And just so you know, there's a day, a week where I'll be doing shrooms with John Marco in LA. Oh um, man. So March 13th through the 18th I will not be in Titanic. But uh But March but 14th we will be doing a live podcast taping in, in Los Angeles 7:30 to 9 Megan Gailey, very good guest and uh I'm just going to risk it and say it. We're going to be Do it. doing the Netflix is a Joke Festival. We're very excited. And this is going to be May 5th at the Comedy Store. The Comedy Store. And not the belly LA. room. The original room. The original Comedy Store. You guys. I mean, the number, the things that have happened in that room that are crimes. Yeah. That's... And we're going to add one more to the list. <laughs> uh, so get ready, LA. You have to all come to two shows. Yeah, be there. Link for everything in bio. This is The Downside. One, two, three. Downside. You're listening to The Downside. The Downside. With John Marco Cerezi. Tell him, Russell. Subscribe to The Downside right now. Where? Down here. Or here. We don't know, but just do it. Or also, what else could they do? They could follow the Patreon. They could subscribe to the Patreon. Ah, no! Sorry. Patreon.com slash downside.